morning folks sunday morning about six o'clock had a cup of tea I had a plan for the morning that's changed already now i gotta go and rescue horse ripped his shoe off well it's hanging off and he can't move so i've got a few tools here i'm ready to go and deal with what i can anyway thank you for your comments and likes i did see uh, a little video come through sent from a customer of uh, Primer Phil with his yellow one at the uh, farm flicks trap and pull thing. So, uh, wait to see that one on uh, YouTube from Farmer Phil. Anyway, let's go and deal with this horse and then try and get back to plan A. Whatever plan A was, it's gone out the window. That plan didn't go the plan for this morning. Have to deal with this. Well, we're down here, so I'd say Sunday morning. Need to have a plan of attack. Need to get that moved. Need to get that moved. I need to get the cab moved to get the 399 back up there. So, I'm gonna have to have a tidy up first, get things out and get that in. Where do I start? We'll pick up any loose, loose tools first, I think. The first little job, Lanky's on a road trip, so we just checked all the tyres and we've done the spare tyre. Check the levels, give it a rinse off and get it out of the way. In readiness to get this in there. So, uh, yeah, we just got oil to check, fluids and a rinse. Then we can get it out of the way. Things like that. That's one bit out. Now we've got to forklift in and move the cab. And then get the little mower out. Ah, dear. Well, as you can see, yes, that looks looking nice and uh, tidy there with the, the decals on. So we'll move this line away. We'll have a brush up and get it in. But yeah, right, the glass is nice and clean. Yeah, back to the flat. Over running. Hammer off. Handy having uh, a set of pallet trucks and a pallet cab being sat on a pallet because you can put it where you want because trying to do that with the forklift there probably wouldn't be enough room to get in and back out again so brush up time
the last one back in there. I'll do for the day, folks. Had a move around, got no space. Well, as you can see, we're full again. No space to do anything. I don't know what to do with that. What should I do with it? Where can I put it? It's been an ornament or in a workbench for I don't know how long. What's a wash off? I know that. But anyway, this is in here. Clean space to work on, and it is clean now. So, uh, yeah. I say there was a little puddle of oil under there when I got it off the stand after washing it off. So yes, it's got the oil leak somewhere in there. So uh, yeah, it'll be a case of uh, splitting this off to get into there. Cause say clutch, but got to work out how to get into that to get to the splitter box. Cause that's apparently where the leak is somewhere, whether it's from there to there or where it's the gearbox or where it's just on the actual, um, input shafts to the gearbox on the clutch side we'll find out when we get in there but yeah it's good to have the compressor working now but yeah it's uh, seen a bit of rot the wings have seen better days but it's been on dung spreader work and god knows what but here we go we can get round it 38 inch tyres that'll keep her busy for a little bit yeah, a little bit cleaner in the cab, but it has got a bit of rot about it. So we'll see if we can get this cover out. And go from there. Well, I can hear them. There they go. Red arrows. folks Monday morning this is 4 35 a.m. must be mad and then Lanky's on a road trip gonna see some pop group thing Muggins are gonna do the horses so you just wake up early and get on with it but yeah it's nice and still and quiet I'll flip the camera around have a look Nice and peaceful. Birds tweeting everywhere. That direction over there where the Glastonbury Festival was. Uh. Anyway, let's get on with it. First job of the morning. We'll just check the operation of the bits and pieces in this one. Water heater wouldn't work, but all that needed was the airline blowing the crap out of it and it's now come on. So we can feel some heat coming out of the exhaust there. The little green lights on. The hob works, the water pump works, just the lights in the back that don't work. So I'm gonna take the switch off and see if we've got power coming to that. Uh, light switch is off. Checked it, we've got power coming in. And when they're on, there's power going out. And when they're off, the power isn't. But there ain't no light. So we'll check bulbs next. Obviously the ones in here. They work. So we'll have a route further back. Be working now. That one's working. And the one over there is working. I don't know. One of them things. They are 399. We have oil leaking, is what they said. <coughs> so we'll just we'll just compare it to engine oil. I'll put it a bit on there. 
see what that looks like. Oh, and a dip of that. Look at that. Definitely different oil. That's engine oil. That's what's coming out of the back. Totally different colour. So it's not crankshaft seals there. So yes, further back. So I'll just pull the dipstick out the back end. That's quite clean oil. Let's do that again. So that's that's there. And that's there. Totally totally different. Hmm. Well, one thing I should have done before I put it in, but I've had to bring it out, drain the water out. It was easier to do it outside, you know, there was such a mess in there. But a couple of run will take it over. So hopefully we get all the water out of this. Ooh, look, got a new fan belt on there. That's uh, seen better days. Open the heater control lever there, which the valve does move. So I'm going to have to split this. So hopefully that will drain the water out of the, uh, the matrix as well. Just eliminate a bit more mess to deal with. Well, somebody just got here after a coffee, she's led on the floor already, putting her expert opinion to it. Finally got all the diesel drained out. Telling Probably got 100 litres. Yeah, she's on the case. Get here, lie down on the job straight straight away. Fuck, no, there's a mess up in there. There's a mess, is there? Your hair's going to be in a mess with that oil. <laughs> Good job we've got small hands. Yeah, but look. Oh, look, see? Oh, that's water where I washed it out. Yeah, but look at all this. Oh, what's coming out there? Ready? Go on. Oh, dummy arm. Oh, lots of grass. <laughs> it's right up inside. Is it? Yep. Okay, well, best we make a start on um, disconnecting stuff, get the bonnet off. Oh. Get the exhaust off and get the rail in and start making an effort. Somebody likes getting dirty and doesn't care. That's been in the bowels of the clutch bellows in. Right, I'm going to try and get the camera up in the hole. Can you get it? You... I can't see oh. the hole, so... Look at the state of it up inside there. That's, um... A mess. A mess. Right, best we look busy and start getting this thing apart. Now you've the oil up on the floor. Your t-shirt's filthy already, you've only been here bloody 10 minutes. Well, I've got one battery out, we're in the step there. I've just got to do the starter motor one, so I'm thinking, um, that's doing a lot. It's not even kind of connected to anything, it's seen better days. I was surprised it actually started on one of those batteries, and I was just kind of holding on with like a women of prayer. <laughs> right, she's still resting with a battery that side. Let's explain this one. I've undone this coupling here, this hydraulic line. When to pull it off and face it back, I... where does it go? Um, it was just sat there, like not doing anything. Oh, you're getting dripped on. You're getting better. I undo that one there, take the pipe off, which is the heater matrix, and then the, this one, well, a, a bit of garden hose, just kind of slides off of that one, so that wasn't very tight. But, oh, at least that's separated. We've got wires off, another battery terminal there for the other battery. That's looking, that's seen better days. Have you finished doing that battery over there yet? I've got blood coming out my hands. Oh dear. But yeah, the battery's off. Right, so we've got hydraulic connections done here. Uh, we just got, uh, yeah. It's all straightforward, clear as mud. After a lot of bickering and going and taking the pee as we usually do, I think we've got everything disconnected. Lines, hoses, all the rest of it. You should probably see a little, you know, there's a little face somewhere. There it is, <laughs> peering <laughs> through. <laughs> so we're gonna have a quick coffee a minute. Have a clear up on the floor because it's a bit of a mess for leakages and seepages. And uh, get the splitting rail out and undo all the bolts. I think it's gonna be quite simple, hopefully. Hopefully, yes. I wouldn't like to change the starter motor on this. We one. shouldn't have to take it up. Oh, we're gonna have to take it off anyway because there's a there's a bolt there we need to get out <laughs> to the bellows in. But yeah, I think the starter motor could be a pain to get out because you've only got half an inch gap there. 
So I think we've just created, well, I found another issue because, say, there is a stud there for the starter motor, but there is a bolt there to the bell housing. Oh, joy. Nothing straightforward. Well, I've got a splitting rail set up underneath there. My legs off, got a bit dirty. <clears throat> she managed to get the oil pump off. So now I can get into the bolts to get the starter motor off. It's all a bit tight up in there. Yeah, it looks it. <clears throat> but um, right personal, you've got a small hand, so right personal on the no, job. I just keep using the tools. Well, it's wherever you leave them to. Mm. I get that trouble, put something down, two seconds later, you can't find it. <laughs> Okay, I've just managed to get the starter motor and everything off to realise there's only two nuts on it. One of them, there was not a single nut and it was quite loose and moved around. But if you look in here, you can see where the rubbish has all been getting in through. I think my camera's a bit dirty. There you go. But inside of there is absolutely in where it's all been coming up from underneath but if it's been coming in through this bit as well that has not helped has it can't wait to get it apart now and see what's inside right after a numerous cussing and swearing axles all blocked up we've got everything undone and we have managed to split it a little bit <sighs> but we did have a, a gentleman come in drop some bits off and the gentleman that came in used to own this 1250 many 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 years ago so he was quite pleased to uh, see it in this current state anyway back to proceedings we are an inch gap not a big gap but it's a gap it's going the right way well that's a relief we have separated it should we just go forward a little bit more oh my god we'll look at that in a minute hang on oh we have grass growing in the clutch <laughs> Uh, oh, we have lots of grass for in the, the clutch release bearing. And I'd say, yes, oil is definitely, uh, the oil leaks here. But, well, that's a relief to get that apart. What say you? Oh, well, yeah. It's, apart, it's, um... it's taking some doing, but we've, um, we've got, uh, the heads of those bolts have had a fair bit of... Uh, yeah. A bit of wear, haven't they? Yeah, look at that one. That's, uh... That sounds all right. There's no leak on that. I think it's just round everything round, round here. But yeah, we'll, we'll perhaps get the harvester in quick. <laughs> Bail it up for silage. <laughs> Feed my sheep on this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll lubricate them up with the amount of oil around that. <laughs> but I can't see the problem's going to be split a box. It's just going to be round the input shaft. I say not leaking here, but yeah, that's um, that's a bit ugh, nice. Anyway, I'm pleased with that. That's a good job done for today. Do you know what time it is now? You've got to, yeah, no. you've got to go. But yeah, well done. Oh, I thought I'd get the clutch cover whipped off. Oh, flywheel's looking all right. No serious cracks or anything in that. Clutch plate, oh, not as smooth as a smooth as a smooth thing. Yeah, I think there's a little bit of life left in it, but it's definitely had some contamination on there. It feels a little bit oily. So, let's get on the old uh, suppliers list and see what's available for a replacement. <clears throat> Failing that, I'll send it off and get it uh, refurbed. We'll see what the cost difference is first. Morning, folks. It's Tuesday. Just back from MOT with this. All went okay. Went to plan. Happy days. So let's get back in uh, in the workshop and um, get on with this 399. Clutch was ordered last night. Should be here today. Oh, look. There's my landlord. Morning, Rog. Good morning, Dave. All right. It's a lovely morning. It's a bit moist, isn't it? Is yeah, the the yeah. dig? I'll go and look at those wires on the digger for you in a bit. All right. All right. Um, so. Tell me what I could do with. What's that? The electric results. 
Oh, it's on a bit of paper. I'm yeah. oh, sorry, that. You can let me have it, please. Yeah. Then I can write Adam out a bill. I mean, she's moaning. Well, she's not moaning, but she just likes it every month. Okay. Every six months. Well, coming in a bit, I'll let you have the paperwork. Okay. All right, then. Okay. See you in a bit. Bye. Right, let's get lively. Get this shot on the road of the day. Hey, anyway, before I was interrupted by the landlord. Uh, yeah, nice to see you this morning, Stewie. Well done. Uh, yeah, and the other driver down there from Mended Wood Shavings. He didn't want to be on video. But I thought I wouldn't bore you with the MOT stuff because that's just here and there. So if you see it, can't remember your name, but you said you watched me. So happy days. All right, so where we left off yesterday, that's out. New one's coming. Apprentice is here, just gone to the loo again. So I'll get her busy in there, getting dirty, cleaning that out. And we'll drain a bit of oil out, ready to get the uh, uh, that lot out to reseal it. Mm. Morning. You got up then? <laughs> well, you can get us no good in there and get dirt down and dirty. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go do that now. Yeah, well, I'll crack on with it. Right. I'll make the most of you for all these school holidays. Oh, so. <laughs> so, I wonder what he was doing over here. On the oh, other cool. side, it didn't look very good. Oh, it's out. Good tug on that, and. Uh... Yeah, we got that one out. Actually, don't feel too yeah, bad. Yeah, it looks all right, actually, doesn't yeah. it? But hopefully the new clutch and stuff should come as a you know, complete kit with that bearing and that bearing. But yeah, that'll come out all right. Shame we didn't clean this bit up when you were cleaning the tractor, because it's a bit dirty here. Yeah. <gasps> Did you not see the state of it to begin with? Well, I saw the state of you when you were halfway through. <laughs> see my bathroom now. <laughs> <laughs> Call me getting old, but safety first. Got axle stand put under either side of the cab there. So I need to get underneath and drain some oil out of this thing. Yes. Oh, and we and we found this. Yeah, we found that. It's a nut on a broken stud, which was buried inside the bottom of here. In there. With uh, more grass. So yeah, that's. Um, wonder where that's come from. We've got the clutch release bearing out, and that is pretty smooth running, but. New kit should come with a new one, so it'd be pointless putting that one back in anyway. So the apprentice is in here getting dirty. Cool. Oh, bit For of wind. Sake. Bit of wind. We need to get that uh, cross shaft out. I'll it's drain, almost. Yeah, I'll drain. I'll drain the oil out. There in the tubs under there. And you get the cross shaft out. We're undoing the four bolts of that input housing out because, say, the oil we can see leaking is definitely down this. This corner down here. What I've spotted. Yeah. It's certainly not coming out on the input shaft itself. Well, as I suspected, we've got the bolts out, the fork's loose, but we can't get the shaft out because the arm this side is welded to it. So we've now got to remove the cab mount to be able to extract that shaft, to be able to get that out, to be able to clean it up and reseal it. There's just no way it's going to come past it. I got a feeling uh, Chris's 290 was the same. So I told him he had to take that out to get that out. Hey oh, bit more to undo. Now it gets better. We can get the three bolts to hold the bracket on there. But the fourth one, which is in there, you could get to if a final repair wasn't done with a piece of steel that's being pushed all the way in there and welded to the step. Oh, just frustration or what? Never mind. That'll be an angle grinder job. Chop that off, undo that bolt. I mean, get that off, get that off, to get that out of the way, to get that out, to get that out, to get that out. All these jobs, working on old stuff, you're one bolt away from being an ordeal or a five minute job. This is, yeah, that was relatively simple. Somebody said it takes longer to put the splitting rail up. But getting to that, I'll see you. I've got it off now. Help with the gas. One bolt did shear off. But the uh, the reason the plate was put in, because the bottom bracket there had rotted off underneath the cab. So something else to deal with. But at least now we can get to that bolt to get a chance of getting that thing out. To get to that out. Good service. 
only ordered it half past four yesterday afternoon and it's turned up so dimensionally looks the same but i was looking thinking oh they're down but it's held on these bolts so you've got to take those out to release the pressure off so it just helps putting it together but i need to make a new tool for aligning it because the ones i've got they're all a bit different sizes so that'll be a job for the morning to make spin a new one up to fit that to fit that to fit the uh, spigot bearing new bearing fitted in there that's had a pretty good clean out we did take that plug out there clean it up bit of ptfe around it just to be sure i'll see everything seemed dry around there i've checked the bolts they're all nice and tight but say the oil was from it was up up here so the prince has uh, cleaned off the big shafty thingy what's it so we'll uh, get that reassembled in due course with a bit of uh, instant gasket guns around it just for belt and braces and the other issue that we had was starting problem i don't think you can see it in there but the uh, the safety switch down there not looking the best Bit of an arse to get to, so I think that might be uh, wires off and, and bypassed, right or wrong. But I say, chances are trying to get that out, it'll probably break and limited space, as you can see. Right, then, folks, well, that'll have to do for today. So I'll be back in the morning and start making up that uh, uh, clutch alignment tool. And we might have started a chance of getting this one pushed back together tomorrow. So, in the meantime, Thanks for watching. Uh, I did message Father Phil about his uh, 1200 and uh, wished him well and hoped everything was okay. Um, yeah, watched AT's Barn and Grill doing his little uh, car for his daughter, so fair play to them on that one. Uh, so, in the meantime, take it steady, give us the old thumbs up, give us a subscribe, drop us a comment, love to hear from you. And we'll see what the next couple of days has in store for us. So, till then, catch you later.